Yeah, the I old like Buffalo the, Bill labels. Yeah. The Buffalo uh, beer labels. Never, never thought one of those would come up. It's like yeah. old times for Bill Wright and Dave Craig as they reminisce over their labor of love. The old Occidental Hotel on Main Street there, all that's gone now. Wright and Craig have collaborated on a unique part of our province's history, 300 years of beer making. Uh, Dave's been a, a collector for 50 years. Uh, I started becoming aware of the club that he was uh, belonged to, and I went down to their buy, sell, and trade shows. And I was always asking questions. I wasn't really interested in collecting a lot of stuff, but I was interested in the history. And so they'd always, uh, you know, point me over in the right direction and say, oh, go see that guy. He's the guy that knows all about the old breweries. And uh, that's really how it started. No, that, that one I wish I had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were quite a bit younger. We started drinking beer at the Grand Beach. So we had a nice box, and you put a box, big block of ice in. And when you take out the beer, well, the water had softened the glue. And all, not all, but most of the labels were off. So we started just sticking them on the wall. That was the beginning of Craig's collection. It's grown to 10,000 labels and boxes and boxes of beer memorabilia. Add in six years of painstaking research on the subject, and the two have come up with 300 years of beer and illustrated history of brewing in Manitoba. It uncovers a lot of lost history that you know people just don't know. People like E.L. Drury and, and uh, Patrick Shea, nobody's ever heard of them. Those are the two top dogs, but there's whole, so much more history. There's history about prohibition, and then there's all, also the, the, the recent history, you know, Molson's, Labatt's, Carling's, and, and the microbreweries. The can is quite interesting. Uh, it's from uh, Carling O'Keefe when they had a canning line in Winnipeg. Craig reveals a secret to preserving some of his greatest treasures. Uh, most of the beer can collectors and anyone, they punch a hole in the bottom and then you can pour it into a glass or just drink it out and, uh, and then you rinse it all out. Goes on a shelf and it's very efficient. Looking down the memorial, there's the old uh, Blackwoods Mansion right where the uh, Art the art gallery is yep. now. I worked on this thing for six years almost every day. I mean, it, it was a huge amount of work. Yeah, at, at some points I thought, I'm not sure if I can pull this off, but uh, we're, we're very satisfied. It, the book has come out far better than I, I thought uh, we would be able to do. We used to, uh, we used to go and get water from that well. Oh, yeah. People love trivia. They love to, to know things that somebody else doesn't know. There's 400 pictures in the book, but uh, there's also a lot of really good information, too. You can look for 300 years of beer at your local bookstore. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Tracy Koga.